Drones for reporting is something I've gotten really interested in uh, lately. Uh, it's the idea of taking um, off-the-shelf uh, aerial vehicles, be they remote controlled or unmanned, uh, you know, fully autonomous kind of aircraft, mounting uh, high resolution cameras, uh, HD video cameras, GPS devices, uh, other kind of sensor platforms, and using them as reporting. And the, the, the way to Kind of the easiest way to describe this is, uh, imagine you are a reporter, you've been assigned to cover the uh, tornadoes in, in Joppa, Missouri. You could pull out of your backpack a little four-rotored uh, four helicopter with an HD camera on there and send it up about 100 feet in the air. And just that fast, you could get a real clear picture of just how far the damage extends uh, and how much in the broader area than where you're just standing was destroyed and, and offer a perspective that you just couldn't get standing on the ground and looking around and do it very, very quickly. Um, it extends from you know, just simple multimedia examples like that, like putting a camera on a, on a, on a helicopter and setting it up in the air to, um, I've seen drones that are fully autonomous that will map, that will image and map an entire uh, like area, like a, uh, you know, a cornfield or, or a large area and produce a, uh, a geo-rectified image of the ground on demand. So think of, again, that, that same tornado um, scenario. Instead of just seeing it, you'd use that drone to completely map the area, and you could get a really hyper-accurate damage assessment very, very quickly um, in a matter of minutes, um, depending on how big of an area you wanted to do it. So there's all kinds of public interest uh, applications to do this for journalism, for reporting. There is also, on the, on the flip side, there's uh, real serious capital Q questions of privacy, of law, of safety, of um, the public's right to know versus uh, um, government expectations of security um, that are wholly unanswered. And uh, I think there is uh, a lot of research to be done and a lot of, uh, of study to be done into those very questions. Uh, we had a really great discussion around that. There were a lot of people there who were, who were uh, privacy advocates who, who raised a lot of really interesting questions, and I, I fully expect that and understand that. Um, but I also think there's, there's significant opportunity here to do really interesting cutting-edge reporting.